And we should be ready to go. I'll put this over here. On and, and mute to Twitch. Uh, okay. I like printed out some stuff today, so I would um actually know how to like like it's hard for me to tab out and do all this stuff and like trying to scroll through everything. So I printed out a few things. Okay. I printed out the whole like UA hunter and my tabaxi information. Okay, that's cool. And the old ranger information with all the spells and stuff. Okay. Um, well, the old ranger stuff wouldn't be needed now. The revised ranger is the only one that counts. Yeah. So, yeah, because it's not like additions or modifications. It's just the whole. That's no, like a completely class. new package. Yeah. yeah for yeah. sure. All right. Yep. Yep. I got gotcha. you. So my stream is looking good. All right. Um. Should we begin, or you're still not live, right? Uh, I'm going live right now. That's okay. okay. All right. So. Uh, oh, I need to make the copy of the. I always forget to do that. And copy game. Edition. All right, doesn't matter. And some music. There I'm we gonna go. use the same music that I did last week because I really like that one. Yeah. Okay. Should be playing. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yep, I hear it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, so where is my plan? Uh, should I lower the volume or? That's uh, eh, fine. Okay. Um. No big notes. I didn't write any pregame notes this time. Uh. But mm. I do have a couple of things to mention before we start. Ozzy, I forgot to ask you to roll for your madness. Um, I'm here, remember? Right. Forgot about that. Uh, when he's mm. here, I'll tell him that I forgot to. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'll keep that open. Um, UA Ranger. Amnon's curse. I forgot that Amnon was cursed and he wouldn't get the full benefits of the long rest like everybody else. So I would uh, ask you to roll a 1d8 and remove that from your HP. Okay. So the rules basically are um, uh, hit dice oh, during short rest. Oh. You're unlucky. What can I do? Bummer. <laughs> um, during a short rest, hit dice will give you half the HP you would be getting back normally and after a long rest you get full hp back but you remove 1d8 um, from it because you're not able to get a very restful sleep due to the uh um to the uh you know the, the, the curse yeah the uh, exor not exorcism possession can't we exorcise yeah. him right. uh if someone has a greater restoration uh Spell in their uh, uh, portfolio, like they might be able to uh, to remove oh. the curse. And one other thing, Amnon, you Fifth put level. Oh, yeah, Jesus. you put yourself at four hit dice. You actually have three total, one current. You put four four. Because the the level in up summary where I said increase your hit dice by one. It's because um, the you, the total is always the same as your level. So you're level three, so you have three oh, okay. total. But you were at zero, and then leveled up, so it became zero out of three instead of zero out of two. So it becomes you increment by one the current hit dice. That's one out of three. All right. Okay. Um, I thought we got our hit dice back when we rest, though. Did yes. Take a long rest. Yes, when you rest, uh, you did get a rest, so that would be two. Yeah, I had, uh, yeah, uh, okay. in my so notes, it's two three. out of three, sorry, yeah. 
Uh, Azzy would be one out of three. How much does he have? I think he left it at zero or something. Wait, so do I get no, mine back or no? I'm confused. Yeah, you're at two now. Yeah, two. I'm dice. at two. Yeah. Uh, the, out of three. The, yeah, the total is three. Yeah. Do I do not get them all for a long rest. No, no after a long rest. Dice back, yeah, round it down. Only half uh, that you get for a long rest. Oh, oh. That yeah. makes sense. And another note, uh, something that Amnon would probably know, is that you have that eye that you took from the death house. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't know if it's magical or not. You can either cast Identify on it if you have that spell, or you could spend a short rest concentrating on it. That might reveal to you what that object has in terms of uh, potential magical abilities. So mm -hmm. I thought you, you can did do that. that. No? What? Pardon me? I thought he what? did something like that. No, I just took it. It looked cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh... He, he still has no idea what it does. Okay, okay. Sorry. All right. And uh, that's it for my notes. Uh, when Ozzy a... arrives, I'll tell him about the madness that he needs to roll. Uh, I have a question. Being sure. new to the caster family. Yeah. Um, how do I, so like, okay, so you mentioned the lesser restoration, right? Uh, but greater do... restoration. Oh, not lesser? Yeah. Uh, if you look at the description of your lesser restoration, it just says that it will cure, uh, like, blindness and um, a, a couple of other uh, specific uh, conditions. Poison? Oh, not, um... Yeah. So, uh, where's... Iron, character sheet, spells, lesser restoration. So it says conditions can be blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. That's the only things that it can uh, uh, fix. Okay. Okay. All right. And with that, uh, let's begin. All right. Let's start with a... Uh, Okay, Sam, I got you. Uh, make a note of those. And gotcha. uh, by the way, I want to see. Oh, you're Sam here. now? I see. Uh, anyone, by the way, can change their names in the gear tab, the My Settings, you know, where you can also adjust the volume. You can change the name that it displays. I'm going to make fun of you a lot because, man, I just destroyed my brother when he's like, I want to be called Bill now. I'm like, no. My name's Billy, you're not Bill. Okay. So you don't get to be Sam, either. I didn't ask to be called Sam, actually. <laughs> uh, it's so just, it to... says Sam right there, Sam C. So that's yeah. that's what I, like, I've seen it all week, so in my mind it's Sam. So Sammy or Liam or whatever. Um, but yeah, you can change the display name in the settings tab. Uh, if, or, uh, if you want. or we can just call him not Aso. Not Aso. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that works. <laughs> oh, All right, yeah. so um, recap, recap time. Let me. I have these. I have one question first before yes. that. Uh, is there a place for like personalized notes in Roll Twenty? I'm not too experienced with the end. Um, yeah, like if you have your like, journal. Okay. Um, you can do edit and just add stuff in your bio and info. Otherwise, you can just tell me and I can just do uh, this. Sam notes. Uh, not ASO notes. And... I have like one as well, please. And I, you write, have a I write private mine note. down like in paper because I just like to, but yeah. We right. there was we did we were using like a group note thing too. Do we still have access? Yeah. Yeah, because with Lost Man, like we I created one for each of you and one for okay. everybody, and most of the individual ones other than Darcy's uh, were basically empty. Um, so I figured I'll just keep one handout for everyone's notes, so you can all just share, and uh, that will be it. So Darcy, you said you wanted one f just for you. Yeah, I like that way of taking notes. Okay, so you have your own notes plus the common notes that you can add. Uh, yeah. I, I, I like having my own set of notes. Okay, perfect. All right, so 
Um, recap. As you finally escape from the Durst house, um, you meet with this uh, person that you suppose that it's the Dreadlord Strahd uh, von Zarovich, who congratulated you on defeating the house, or uh, as he said, on appeasing the house, and um, then disappears uh, just as the entire village that you are in crumbles and uh, um, turns into mist and you find yourself outside of it um, outside of the house in the middle of a centuries old ruin um, you get away from this unholy place trying to find some rest and after uh, sleeping for the night uh, the mist starts to coalesce again and uh, you hear this huge scream as Ozzy has been seemingly resurrected and transported in the midst of you. Um, as well as a new human companion named Iron Isla. After dealing with Ozzy a little bit on what happened, whether you abandoned him or not and all that, you eventually make your way... Um, through the road in the only direction that seems to be safe and you find yourselves uh, in front of huge gates that open uh, to, to you towards the uh, the land of Barovia. As you enter and the um, gates slam behind you, you continue on your way and find a corpse uh, lying not too far away from the road as you inspect it, you find that it's um, a commoner, uh, a pale person with drab clothing and holding a letter in their hands. You um, open the letter and you read it. Uh, it seems to be a message from the burgomaster of the village of Barovia asking people to uh, encircle the land with holy symbols and leave everyone in it to die. Um, you want to bury that corpse and as you linger you start hearing howling in the distance and five direwolves face you and you decide to make a run for it. Uh, fortunately the direwolves do not pursue you and you're able to find yourself arriving in the village of Barovia soon after. You hear someone crying and as you sneak through the streets you see an old woman um, who is selling pastries and going door to door uh, trying to sell her pastries. Um, Ozzy buys one and then uh, rejoins with the others as Cloud sneaks through the rooftops and finds that the crying uh, sounds that she heard were coming from a second um, floor bedroom uh, where a woman was uh, crying there and she couldn't see much of uh, what was happening in that room other than the woman uh, sitting there alone and crying. Uh, you make your way back to the others and you enter the tavern, the Blood and the Vine Tavern that uh, I'm going to show everybody, found some new art to share. Um, and you find uh, in the tavern you find a um, drab barkeep who just seems to be cleaning glasses and not very talkative. Um, you find three women uh, very colorfully dressed and very loud uh, sitting in a corner as well as one man sitting on his own in another corner of the tavern who seems to be a bit depressed maybe. Um, you uh, you talk with them, Cloud with the, the three women, while uh, the other man, Ismark, uh, approaches the rest of the group and asks for their help in escorting his sister away from the village of Warovia, promising 50 gold to get her to safety. Um, and that's where we're going to, uh, to continue now. Sorry, I think the, uh, the uh, recap was a bit longer than I dissipated. It's uh, all good. It's okay. All right. Where do we find Sammy? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, not yet. He's not with, he's, he's not with us yet? Okay. You no, know, not yet. Um, I'm also going to... I'm also going to... do this and share these icons uh, where you can see in... Um, Oh my god, you guys, it's gonna take me so long to get 50 gold. <laughs> um, I only have nine. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah. You just start selling pie. That starts, yeah. Yeah. It just starts stealing people. These people's outlines are in red, so that makes me seem like they're enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Who's outline? Not necessarily. Uh, actually, do you. You guys did find some stuff in the death house that you might be able to sell or trade, so that's always a possibility if uh, okay. uh, yeah, if you want. All right, um, let me get my plan again. So did we? Yeah. Are we still in the tavern, or did we leave? I so forget. you you are still in the tavern. So before you're leaving, um, Cloud didn't get her chance to chat up with the. Uh, women so we'll we'll do that really quickly um by basically saying that you keep chatting with them while listening at the same time at the other conversation um they are asking quite a lot of questions of you they are um or alenka the, the the main woman um that you've been talking to seems to be quite interested in you and your uh, companions she wants to know where you come from where you're going um anything that she can uh, get uh, in terms of uh, uh, information that you're willing to to tell. Uh, she's also uh, very non-subtly uh, flirting with you. And um, what else? Yeah, Ismark has paid for wine for everybody. Um, the the women have not. Uh, this is their establishment, so they're not going to give free drinks to anybody. And that's about it. So as you're uh, leaving, um, uh, Alenka tells you, uh, give my regards to Madame Ava when you visit Serpul. And okay. if you need a bed for the night. You're welcome into my room anytime. <laughs> and then winks at you. And then looks a little at her uh, sister and says, You can bring two of your friends with you. And then they go back looking at each other and they start laughing. And um, that's the end of that conversation. Mm, as you're joining up with the others. Yeah, as you're joining We're up with the others who are crossing the tavern, going towards the exit. And wow, as you're Dylan. leaving, you notice that the barkeep is still doing the exact same uh, routine of cleaning glasses that seem to be perfectly clean and just robotically doing the same thing over and over again. That's a weirdo. Yeah. I have a quick question. Yeah? Can my wolf be a dire wolf or does that have to be just a regular wolf? Regular wolf. No fun. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What if, it, what if it's a baby dire wolf, so it's just like a regular wolf of hers, and then when she gets max level, it turns into a dire wolf? Uh, uh, the, the stats of basically the wolf, uh, of the companion, have to be, um, have a, a certain um, challenge rating, yeah. and the dire wolf is uh, a little bit too strong to be a beast that you could tame. Uh, to be your companion. I'll yeah. be the judge of that. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, you're the judge of that. <laughs> yeah. I, I am your master here, so I decide. I want to go back to being the leader. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to being what? Uh, I'm just kidding. I said okay. of being the leader, which is a joke. Uh. I don't want to be the yeah, leader. Yeah, because you're the leader in uh, World of Warcraft, right? Yeah. All right. Well, being in the leader of, of that zoo uh, is thank you enough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you want to fight, Dylan? All right. If, so, yeah, if World we'll of Warcraft were, have, were to have royalty, it would be Queen Nara. You're right. Oh, hey, Ozzy, welcome. Hi. 
something that you missed, I forgot to ask you last time to uh, roll for your madness. So if you can roll a uh, d100. But by the way, do you guys all see a bar at the bottom with uh, like uh, uh, stuff that you could click on? A bar at the bottom. Yeah, like just no. under our uh, avatars. No. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, okay. It should no be. Open but bar. It's not. All right. Uh, I'll just whisper to Mister Pedram his his madness that is a result of his resurrection, or rather, a result of being dead in this uh, cursed land. All right. Um, so as you exit the tavern, you come face to face, opening the door, with uh, someone entering the, uh, the tavern. Liam, would you please describe yourself to, uh, to the others? You see a moderately tall human who wears a hood, but you can see underneath of it brown hair with ice blue eyes pale skin looks fairly young for someone around here maybe early 20s doesn't look that heavy set either looks a little scrawny in length um you're kind of in our way bud Ah, uh, yeah, right. We're trying to get out of this tavern, aren't we? Yep. Is he just standing there awkwardly? You gonna uh, say something? Well, you, you, open you open the door, the door and we're and like face right to there. face with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like an elevator. You gotta let people out before you go into the tavern. Tell him that there's a lady in the tavern that is uh, willing to share a room. <laughs> yeah, you should see. There's three girls in the corner. I think one of them is looking for someone. I don't think she likes the male type. Maybe the other ones do. Could be. She's more into male. So She's what is more your into name? cats, Mister Hooded Hooded figure. Oh, so it's a crazy cat lady. I see. It's polite to give one's own name before asking another's. However, uh, my name is Liam Greyheart. Well, I met Liam. Um, kind of a an odd place for someone like you. What, what brings you to this town? Honestly, I'm not sure. I found myself in the village of Barovia not too long ago with some friends of mine. Looking for one of them, but uh, we'll not talk about that. Why won't you speak of that? I'm Azzy, by the way. If I want to just, like, portray the way I look, is it better to say it or is it better to type it while we're playing? Um, say stuff, mostly. Okay, I'm, like, pretty drunk, so I'm just gonna, like, lean against the door and just kind of, like, stick my face really close to his face and just kind of look at him a little bit. Maybe see what he smells like. See if he's, like, undead-ish. Or if he's just a regular old human. But I'm kind of drunk, so it's real sloppy. Smell check. Smell check. A smell check. A uh, drunk smell check, so I feel like this should be disadvantage. Yeah, do a disadvantage and perception check. How do I do disadvantage? Uh, just roll it. It always rolls twice anyway, so... Yeah. Okay, okay. So you, you get a nine. Um... Sammy, what would she smell with that roll? He smells a little bit like aged parchment. Axe body smell. He's a fucking nerd, you guys. He smells like bucks. You have to uh, excuse our pet here. She's uh, pet. being a little friendly tonight. She was picking up uh, some ladies at the bar there earlier. I'm going to flick Dylan in the nose. <laughs> I'm gonna dodge it. No, no claws. No or like claws. Hit, her, hit her hand away. <laughs> yeah, right. 
<laughs> Maybe so, drunk, but my agility is way better than yours. That's okay. So, what do you want to do? What do you all want to do now? Um, I'm just gonna bring Liam. Whoa. <laughs> Liam's no. tiny. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure why. You said your last name is Gray Heart? What kind of name is that? Is your heart really gray? It's a darker version of Lionheart. <laughs> it's not the name I chose. It was the name I was given. Given by who? My parents. How does anyone get their name? I kind of made mine up. Uh, at this I'm point, Ismark says, Well, uh, Mr. Grey Greyheart, um, uh, I, I don't know what you are planning on doing, but you seem like a capable man. Uh, if you could maybe help as well, uh, we're in need of, uh, of some help. My sister needs help. What are we doing again? What skills can you bring, Liam, to our merry band of misfits? Wearing edgy clothing. Uh, what's the what's the surrounding like right now? Like, is what's the the atmosphere like? Is it raining? Is it what? It's not raining. Um, the you've mostly seen the, the the area in perpetual mist that sometimes clears up a little bit. Um, sometimes just heavy mist all around you. Uh, but now um, the mist has actually cleared up. And you look around you, you see a very uh, somber village. Uh, most houses are in a uh, bad state of repair. Uh, a lot of them have uh, been boarded up. And as you look above you, um, something that you had not seen before due to the, the, the mist, uh, all around you see that the village is actually at the base of a cliff a sort of cliff and looming uh, about a thousand feet above a huge castle that just seems to be looming over the the village and because of that the village is um, uh, in a sort of uh, not darkness, but uh, uh, in shadow, shadow. shadow, yeah, uh, is shadowed by this uh, cliff and castle that is looming all over uh, the place, and it gives it a sort of uh, dreary feeling. And uh, again, you still hear uh, someone's wailing and crying from somewhere in the uh, village. All right. Uh, in regards to the question I was asked, uh, I want to cast Prestidigitation and, uh, <laughs> clean up the very likely wine-stained, uh, I guess, tunic that the drunk characters remove some of the stains from. Uh, from yours? Good, or... No, from, from, from a cat lady. Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So you clean her clothes, uh... As, Great! As you do we have a okay. dry cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a nice trick. Uh, you see Ismark's eyes open wide and he, he seems to be s surprised, but uh, he has a smile, like a happy smile. Oh, you, you certainly seem talented, sir. Uh, yes, yes, talented indeed. We'll, uh, we'll have them clean up our clothes after we're done killing the enemies. I hope you're better at cleaning blood on Azzy's body than cleaning <laughs> rain stains. Yeah, you could probably use it more than the trunk girl. Well, and I had something so, to say, but I forgot. So you're a master of the mystical arts, I see. I've been known to dabble. Does that mean you're a wizard? Could be a wizard or a sorcerer. You you do see a uh, a large tome hanging off his belt. 
Is that a large tome hanging off your belt? <laughs> Are you just surprised to see us? <laughs> just damn it. Oh, uh, we're it we're drunk, you guys. Wait, is that Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Out. Right. Well, you know, we may find use for someone of the mystical arts. Uh, would you care to join us on our quest to support this gentleman in his in rescuing his sister? I see no reason why not. I'm still looking around for something, but I see no reason why I can't do both at the same time. What are you looking we for? Can... We can hit up a store if you want. You looking for some booze? I am he not. said he's looking for his friend. Didn't you listen? I thought he was looking for an object. He said he's looking for his friend. He probably would have said someone instead of something. He did. Unless he said he came here with people. And then he was looking for somebody. Uh, I'm really wondering person. if Nara is uh, drunk or really sick or really good at roleplay. You know, it's kind of working out, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think you might have a little bit of all of the above. Yep. <laughs> well, I have poured... Nice I'm just kind of nasally, so that I'm just talking like like I'm a little well, drunk. Well, you know, cold medicine is a hell of a drug. I haven't taken it yet. All right. All right, well, you're welcome to join us, and if you, if you clue us into your... Uh, the quest that you yourself are on we may be able to help but if you want to keep us in the dark it's going to be really hard for us hey hey wizardy guy do you have any use for a book on alchemy here let me see that uh what is it i don't know it's just this book i got i'm gonna give him the book on alchemy okay uh what is it dm Uh, it's just a book that talks in general about uh, alchemy. It doesn't, like, leaf into it quickly it doesn't seem to have any kind of uh, use for you. Does it look worth anything? Um, mm, might be, uh, but it's, it looks very, very, very old. And not in a very good state. Um, a lot of the, the pages have faded. Uh, as you open it, you can see that some of the pages are uh, quickly uh, not turning to dust, but breaking off as you try to leave through it. So it, it doesn't look like it's going to last very long. Uh, so I would say no real value. All right. Uh, Cloud, that was a book that you took in the library, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can take that book. I might be able to patch it up at some point. Okay. Sure. I just don't want it. Okay, I'll add that book to my collection. Okay, I'm going to delete it from mine. Okay. I'm guessing, I'm looking at that book, I'm going to pull up my spell book, the one that I picked up, and see if that's except for the same fate. Uh, wh what book? What's, it, uh... was the sp it was the spell book that I found in that chest yeah. in the house. Okay, so you take that spell book, and it's, it seems to be a much higher quality book. Um, it has aged significantly. Uh, the pages are a bit yellowed now, but it's still holding up. It's still uh, in a good state that you can see what contents it has and all that other stuff. So Okay, yeah. cool. All right, I'll put it back in my in my bag. Okay, so you're keeping the that book, right? Yeah. Can we go over to the merchant place? Let's see if I can get rid of some of this crap. At, the, at this point, Ismark says, um, uh, "All right, well, I, I'm really glad that you'd be joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, sh shall we get moving?" And um, he he starts going this how, way. How far are we yes, going again? All means it's like the next town over, way. isn't it? No, uh, now you're going to bit, meet his yeah. sister, who is at the uh, uh, at the end of the street. Oh, she's the probably is she the crying one? Yeah. Or no. As you no. reach this area, you you come uh -oh. in front of the house with the crying gonna... that Cloud has 
uh, pointed out. That I'm gonna mm-hmm. stop Ismark and say, ask him if he's if he hears little lady crying or if he knows anything about who she is and why she's crying. Oh, that's uh, that's Mary. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with her. She uh, she started crying about a few days ago, maybe a week. I don't know. Uh, yeah. That's where she lives. That's all I know. Okay. And he... Wait. This chick's yeah. been crying for a week and nobody's gone to like see what's up? For real? That Some... shit's annoying. You tried, but well, you I, I fell had... down, remember? I mean, I was just creeping on her. It's Mark says, I, I, I'm sorry, I would have... Well, my father would have uh, looked after her, but we've had so many issues in the last few days, I, I really haven't had a, a mind to... You mean to you, see. yourself, or your or this town has had issues? Uh, my, my family. Oh, okay. Uh, Irina, as I've told you, has been visited by the devil, and... Uh, yeah, it just seems like this whole town's kind of got an atmosphere of um, death. Yeah, everything kind of being not very well off. Like everyone's hey, kind of struggling. Hey, real quick, do we tell yeah. him anything about the death house yet? Mm, you haven't so? mentioned no. no, no. Okay, cool. I just think we should yeah. just not talk about that. Yeah, yeah. I just want to. I just wanted to make sure we didn't tell him about any of that stuff. Yeah. So okay. he says, um, uh, "Our father died uh, a few days ago." It's been a bit of a, of a difficult time for us. Uh, of you, what? Uh, yeah, had your dad died? Um, our house was surrounded uh, by the devil's minions, and uh, I believe the the entire ordeal ordeal was a little too much for his uh, heart, and uh, it gave out, and he died. So he wasn't killed by these demons, he just had a heart attack? Yes. The demons have not entered our home, but they have... They have been uh, scratching at the walls and... Uh, this is the home we're going to right now? Yes, they haven't been... What are the devil's minions? Wait, so there's minions there right now? No, they haven't been ever since his death. I believe uh... that the... Devil has given us a reprieve to mourn uh, our father. Doesn't seem uh, very devil-like, but uh, sure. Well, well, the devil is a gentleman sometimes. <laughs> yeah. He is so still uh, it would seem. a human, I assume. Well, can I do my primeval awareness to see if there are any undead nearby? Keep that for um, you. Huh? Yeah, it just it just takes one minute. So while you guys are talking, can I just take a minute and and kind of check around? So you're concentrating and trying to see if there are any um, undeads in yeah. a five mile Within radius, five miles. <laughs> which is uh, huge uh, here. So you you are suddenly assaulted by multiple by the awareness of multiple undeads. Um, a little in all directions, um, you're able to note a substantial number of them that you're not even able to count. Um, hey, it says coming from the from the um, the castle that is just looming above you. Oh, okay. Um, you do feel uh, a few. Uh, let's see. Says I get I to know you, you how many feel... and the general direction in miles. Yeah, I know, but it, five miles is basically half of Barovia, I think. And uh, so I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, it would take me like a week just to count every possible <laughs> encounter <laughs> to tell you where they are. Kay. But yeah, you, you, like you're overwhelmed by the number that there are quite a few all around. Um, they're not in the immediate vicinity. You can feel. That there is one um, 
over here in this di general direction might might be the cemetery. At uh, the cemetery, um, okay. And that's that's the only one really close to you that you can sense. Okay. I'm gonna share that information briefly with my co or my coworkers, with my friends after <laughs> um, they're done with their current conversation. Okay. Am I your friend yet? Yeah, I'll share it with you too. With my with my compatriots or whatever. Oh yeah, and you also actually feel that some of the houses in the village also might house undead. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. It's a great, great ability. I uh, like this okay. town already. Yeah, it's a nice town. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you. Uh, is is Mark just keeps like after discussing Mary and uh, he just keeps going uh, towards the house and uh, as you follow along um, you eventually come to a uh, a house a weary looking mansion uh, that squats behind a rusting iron fence the iron gates are twisted and torn. The right gate lies cast aside, while the left swings lazily in the wind. The stuttering squeal and clang of the gate repeats with mindless precision. Weeds choke the ground and press with menace upon the house itself. Yet, against the walls, the growth has been tramped down to create a path all about the domain. Heavy claw markings have stripped the once beautiful finish of the walls. Great black marks tell of the fires that have assailed the mansion. Not a pane nor a shard of glass stands in any window. All the windows are barred with planks, each one marked with stains of evil omen. Your house Smart looks like says, you could use a little uh, TLC. This is... Well, I really like what you guys did with the place. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. We, we're very uh, proud of, uh, of our house. Thank you very much. Is it not like a bit of a draft? Um, I'm not sure what you're referring to. I mean, I mean there's no windows. Yeah, but they're all uh, boarded up. With plants. True. That's uh, <laughs> that prevents uh, people from coming in and uh, monsters in the night. Uh, all right. Are you sure you're not trying to keep something inside? <laughs> uh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, my sister is inside right now, and uh, we're trying to get her out of the of the village. All right. Well, so, he... Um, yeah. What? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Dylan just has more sarcastic comments to say. No, I'm just very Probably. sketched out about this whole thing. I want to like check and see if they were like walking into a trap or something. I checked for um, undead. Okay, do a perception check. Uh, uh... Ugh, gross. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're not um, noticing anything uh, like that. He loves it. it, it he loves looks telling like you a, that. <laughs> an old mansion that has been it's just, probably just it's like shit. he told you, attacked by multiple assailants. Assailants and um, uh, I l yeah. Are the other houses similar, or is it like, does the devil seem to have a vendetta against this family alone? This is a bigger, uh, it's a mansion, the others are more smaller houses, um, but a lot of the houses have planks boarding up the windows, uh, but this one seems to have had a particular uh, attention from uh, the devil. Good. Yeah. Alright. Well, on uh, after you, to hunt, or uh, is Mark? Okay. So he he comes to the house and knocks on the door, and uh, uh, after a few minutes, why are you knocking on the door of your own house? Oh, let me uh, <laughs> finish. Uh, he knocks on the door, and uh, after uh, a few minutes, uh, he hears uh, someone says, "Who is that?" Uh, says, Irina, it's me. Open the door. And um, then you hear quite a few locks opening from the inside. And uh, a young woman peeks out. 
and uh, it says, Ismark, come in. And she opens the door, and you get, you all get to uh, to enter the house. Do you have a picture? And she says, uh, who are they? And he tells her that blah, 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 all the things that he told you. They start to, uh, arguing a little bit. You can't hear much of what's happening. And then she just looks at you and waits for you to enter the house. She does not invite you in. And you wanted to see what she Wait, is not like a rule for vampires or something? Might be. But they can't invite you into their house? Uh, yeah, something about, like, they can't, like, you have to be invited in. So maybe that she's checking us to make sure we're not vampires. Fair enough, I'll go in. I can, do you have a picture of her? Could you describe what she looks like? Yeah, so she has auburn hair. Uh, she looks young. Fancy. Yeah, she looks young, um, auburn hair, and, uh... I'll just look at the picture. I'm not good with that though. <laughs> she looks really cool. Yeah. Does she have a sword she, and armor? She's uh, slightly dark uh, complexion. Um, um, yeah. Uh, all right. Just give me a second. And there you go. She appears here. So you enter the house? Or what? Liam uh, is not yeah. the first one to enter. I'll go but first. But he does follow in. Okay. I don't care. He's also been fairly quiet this whole time. Just kind of taking in the the scene, how these these people interact with. The All right. So you you enter the house and you you can see that she's a little stressed. She's a little um, not at ease. Um, you do notice that he, neither of them invited you into the house. But as you all entered, um, you can see both of them, but especially Irina, uh, just like breathe out and relax. Like her posture ah. changes a little bit. She is wearing a uh, rather thick red scarf around her neck. Um, that seems a little bit weird considering the way that she's dressed, which is like just normal clothing. Um, and someone's writing something. Uh, and what else? Um, is she yeah. older or younger than her brother? She's younger. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's younger. He's uh, maybe f five years uh, uh, more than five to ten years more than uh, than her. He's maybe thirty. She's maybe around twenty or twenty-five. Okay. All right. And what is the reason that she needs to get out of town? Then? Because the devil like has come to her a couple of times. Oh, okay, <laughs> but not. Not him? Not him. All right. okay. And so the interior of the mansion is well furnished, um, yet the fixtures show signs of great wear. Noticeable oddities are um, the boarded up windows and the presence of holy symbols in every room. The, there is an old man um, that is uh, lying in a wooden coffin surrounded by wilting flowers and a faint odor of decay in a uh, room uh, to your right and the the coffin is um, a little weird uh, obviously amateurly made um, and this old man is all dressed up and lying inside in it okay what um, is there a specific deity that the holy symbols are in worship? Um, yes, you see the symbol of, uh, do a religion check, please. And I'll let you know if you uh, recognize. Right. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So you see a few <laughs> holy symbols and, um, you don't recognize, uh, any of them, but a lot of them seem to look like um, a circle with lines coming out of it. Circle with lines coming out of it. Like a spider. Hey, or Azzy. A sun you're a paladin, right? What, what is this stuff? Um, I will do a religion check. 
Because um, I'm like the last, I'm like in the middle of people to come in, so. Okay, and as you're looking at the symbol and trying to discern what it is, Irina says, that is the symbol of the Morning Lord. The what? The, what? the Morning Lord. Morning, like crying, or morning, like the morning the lord. Day. Like, morning good lord. morning. Have yeah. some breakfast. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's so the, like it looks like a sun, sun, right? You said like it looks a rising like a sun. sun. Yeah. You do not okay. know of the morning lord. Out of character, is that Pelor? Is that who? Is that Pelor? Pelor. I don't know what that is. It's the morning okay. lord. <laughs> That's the name of the uh, the deity that they uh, that they have. I just figured uh, the paladin yeah. would know, like, religion stuff. Um, a cleric sure might know more than a paladin. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. You sometimes forget uh, the little uh, paladin that you have. With, uh, the, the little, little cleric. cleric that you have with you. She's very quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my sound, my cat helped me and knocked my ear things out, so I didn't hear the last few minutes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Except for the very quiet cleric part, that's me. Yeah, uh, they were they saw holy symbols in the house and they were trying to figure out what divinity uh, it represents. And she was asking the paladin for uh, for that instead of the cleric. And I just said, oh, you I also have a cleric who might know. Um, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, the I cleric is that. a priest, so. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Liam, if you don't want your token to stick to the grid, uh, you can. It's either Alt or Shift uh, as you drop it, and it should uh, remain exactly where you place it. Just FYI. Alt, yeah. Okay. All right. That, that's a good thing to know. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Did not know. No problem. All right. So she says. I don't know where my token is. Uh, you didn't have one. Uh, you can always just drag and drop it from your uh, from the journal. Uh, like if you drag and drop your character from the journal, it will appear your token in the in the map. I didn't do it because it's just too many people, so I just had the. I think it was just Tehanu, and we assumed that you were following Tehanu. That's fine. That worked. Yeah. And so she says that is the Morning Lord. Uh, he he is the divinity that we worship here. He has watched over the Barovian people for centuries, from sunrise until sundown, but now that the sun has not been shining unobscured for centuries, he doesn't answer our prayers anymore, but still, we will continue to uh, worship the Morning Lord and the Mother Night. Uh, so that is why it was so comfortable around here. Why don't you uh, worship one that's more akin to darkness? If yours isn't answering you. Well, we worship also the Mother Knight. Uh, but we don't really think that the, the gods of old are still looking towards us. Barovia has been cursed. Their, their children. Well, I don't it's really typical. know what uh, what it is that happened in the past, but something that the Barovians did must have uh, angered the gods, and they have cursed us with the devil Strad to punish us. And uh, we just hope that one day maybe we will be free again. So, is he the one that bit you? Yes. Yes, he came to me twice now. So he's bit he... you, bitten you twice. He's, he's what happens to like other you. people when they're bitten? Um, I believe that he needs to bite someone three times before they succumb, but I don't really remember what happened, but I see that I have two marks on my neck, and she just pulls the scarf a little bit, and you can see these two bite marks on her neck. Um, 
one next to the other, like two pairs of bite marks. Um, she says, I do not remember. I think maybe it is a dream, but uh, the proof of the reality of it is right here on my neck. If he bites me a third time, I don't know. How does he even get to you? I don't really know what uh, would happen. It is very fuzzy in my memory, but I think someone might have invited him into the house not knowing who he was. And uh, yes. When did when did this happen? How long ago? Uh, maybe two weeks ago. Can you rescind his invitation? No, I do uh. not know. I don't think so. I need to. So, you guys need, need to, to make build a stand. House. And what? if I am to die, then so be it. And Ismark jumps and says, "No, sister." No, you will, you will flee with these people, and they will take you to safety. And uh, you need to survive. You need to live. Yeah, yeah we. Your brother asked us to escort you out of this town. Uh, to help you, and do you think you have to stand and fight the devil instead? I will not leave this place, not until I see my father buried under the ground. Well, these are not the guys to help get a body buried. They, These are the guys <laughs> that leave people. Yeah, we leave the bodies. We make the bodies. We don't bury them. Why don't we... They just leave their bodies, even their friends. We could Fuck. take your father's Liam body you and bury him what? now. Yes. Liam. We'll have to talk we, about this another time, but it is another a tale for another time. We, we simply have not been able to find any villager willing to help us transport the body to the church for the burial. So, yes, if you can help us uh, transport him all the way to the church. Have, I could maybe try to convince him some buried. people to... To help you? Convince who? Commoners. Whoever lives in this town. I do not think you will be able to. They, ever since they saw the, the zombies and the werewolves around our house, they know that the, the, the devil has his werewolves. eyes on us. And I. They, they will not approach, I guarantee you. What can you tell us about zombies and werewolves? Not much. They've uh, attacked our house. We haven't encountered house. these creatures much. Yeah, well, you will soon enough, I am sure. They, they've attacked our house. They've tried to get inside. We've been able to keep them at bay, but then my father died and... Uh, we haven't seen them since, and uh, I'm worried that they might come back soon. I do not know. You said your father died of a heart attack? Yes. The sight oh. of, uh, of those monsters around the house, it was just too much for him. Hmm. But then they left when he died. They left, yes. I believe I that the Devil Strad has given us a reprieve. He seems Doesn't... to be enamored of me, and uh, maybe out of the respect, I don't know. So your father was basically like the, the guy who runs this town, right? Yes, he was the Burgomaster. Now this so task... who's in charge now? Well, now this task falls onto Ismark's shoulders. But the devil doesn't bother Ismark. Why is that? Maybe because he sits in the tavern drinking all day. Um, the devil was not here for my father. He was here for me. Uh -huh. He seems to have some sort of fascination with me. I think he is in love. Interesting. 
So what happens to people who are bitten three times? Do they then become a vampire as well? Maybe. They usually go to his castle and we never see them again. Uh... He's done this to multiple people? He does it from time to time, yes. Can I, uh, can I make an inside check? Make yeah. sure she's being forthcoming. Truthful? Yeah, do it. Let's hope somebody would do that, because my insight's not that great. <laughs> um, you can see from her posture, from the way that she speaks, that she, that she is grieving. You can see that she, um, she is afraid, but masking it rather well. Um, she seems like a strong-willed woman who who is not lying to, who is being truthful, and she seems to have a kind heart. That's what you've been able to gather in the uh, short time that you've been discussing with her. All right. All right. Will you well, will you help us, uh, Birdie? Our father. You have to drag him all the way across town to the to, to the church. To the church, yes. Hey guys, don't forget what I said about there being an undead up there. Uh, yeah. You say so this be on the lookout. Out loud. Yeah. Because remember, like after their conversation, I kind of mentioned it to the group yeah. that I had detected un you know I had detected tons of undead up at the castle and then in the area and but especially up at that church uh, yeah and uh, as as you remind them Irina says uh, uh, you've met Doru I assume I'm sorry Doru from the church is that who you were talking about uh, I have no idea I just sometimes know these things and I could tell that there's an undead in oh. that area. Yeah. I think it's just the ramblings of a drunk cat. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give no, him a sharp it, look. It, it, it is not rambling. She is right. She she is right. It's uh, um, his name is Doru. He is the uh, the priest's son. He was uh, he went to defy the devil about a year ago and. Uh, it did not go well. What happened? I don't know all the details, but everybody knows that Doru came back changed. Uh, his Undead. father is... Uh, yes, I think so. His is father he a vampire? Is keeping him uh, in the church. Seems like a pretty cruel punishment for an undead. Where is he keeping him in the church? I believe in the basement. Interesting. Yes. You don't know anything else about that guy, though? He was nice to me. He's young. Oh, yeah, we've had some dealings with... Removing, uh... We've got experience with stuff yeah, in the basement. Yeah, removing <laughs> things from the basements. <laughs> oh. You do not need to and remove leaving him things from in the basement. The basement. Uh, he... His father is taking care of him, I believe, and uh, we do not bother ourselves with that. We shall simply go bury my father, and then we can continue wherever you wish to take me away from this place. So once you move your father, then we'll go to the next town with you. Yes. Do you think? Do you think that he's going to come back in the night time? Like how? How? Do you, like how immediate do you think when does he normally is? come um he comes well he's only come twice but it was a few days in between uh my father has been dead for three days now maybe we've had the reprieve because of that maybe not the sooner we go the better i would maybe not stay to... here any minute longer than needed okay uh, is she just leaving, or is she just doing this because we're helping? Doing... Uh, she wants to get her father buried, and then she said she would leave with us, right? Yeah, yeah. She says she's How not going to leave until she sees him buried. 
How was the mist when the devil came to see? Was oh. it thick? Was it sparse? It, no, much different from every other day. It's the mist is kind of random. Sometimes it's thick, sometimes it's not. Sometimes she she looks out uh, between planks in the window and she says like, today, no mist. And by the way, as you were outside noticing that there are no mists, you still felt that for some reason the sun was not as bright as it should be. You can't see any mist preventing the sunlight, uh, but the sun seems to be behind it, sort of, some sort of veil, some kind of great dimness to it. What time is it, by the way? Um, let's see. It's a little late in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Well, we should definitely get this done and get out of that cemetery before dark and try to get out of town before dark. So that we're traveling during the night? Right. Seems like the worst time to travel. No, I think we can get him get him there and get him buried and get going before it's dark out. Right? Wait, what time is it now? Early it's morning? It's late afternoon. Uh, late afternoon. Yeah, yeah by the time like we're like three o'clock probably ish. Yeah, yeah. something like that. The sun hasn't set yet, but probably will soon. Can I um walk over to the body and investigate it to see if there's any Way I can figure out how it died. Um, do a medicine check. Uh, do you want I'm me to? Oh, look at that! It. So, you look at the body uh, very quickly. You don't see any kind of um, cuts. You don't see any kind of uh, recent injury, but. You're, you don't know, like, you can't really know if there's something beneath the clothes, so as you try to investigate a little bit more, Ismark says, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get a sense of why your father died. It seems kind of eerie that he just seemed to uh, Drop collapse dead. when these demons were here, and then all of a sudden they were gone. Like, Well, you weren't here. He was very scared, and my father is an old man. How old is he? Was he was 35. Can I, like, can I see, like, how, how old is he? Like an old, gray, like, frail man? Mm, yeah, he looks old and frail. Uh, he's probably not much um, older than 60, but with the conditions that they live in, it looks like 60 is really old, though. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, disrespect your father's corpse or anything like that. Just uh, wanted to uh, see if there's any kind of... I don't know. If you have something, questions, something you ask me. If you have any questions, you just ask me, please. Do not touch him again until we move the coffin itself towards the church. Isn't that what we're doing now? Uh, Do you have like a horse? Well, no, no horses. So we're gonna carry this. Yes, which is why we weren't able to do it before. Just me and my sister. It's, uh, it's not possible, and no other villager wanted to help us. So. Did anyone have a c cart with wheels <laughs> that Maybe I noticed on the way up here? I believe the hi lady has cart. a cart. Yeah, yeah let's hi, go lady. ask. Hi, lady, if we could borrow her cart for a little bit. And put a dead body on her food cart? We're gonna take the food off of it first. This looks like, this looks like a cart That's here. like a health code violation, guys. Uh, it looks like you're gonna be ruined with all the code you have. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of carts sitting around, aren't there? Yeah. Um, from your memory, you don't think that the cart would be either big enough or sturdy enough to, to, to help do that. Bring out your dead. <laughs> well, I can't. Uh, I'm not very strong myself, so I think this is a task that's left for the cat and Azzy. Whoa. The cat? Yep. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> All right. Well, 
uh, let's say six people are uh, helping carry the coffin. Uh, Ismark and Irina will be in the front, and uh, four of you will help trail uh, holding the coffin, and the rest can just walk around next to them. And you're all going to the church? Yep. All right, so let's move to El Churcho. Some of us have some strength in more than just our mouth, you know. All right. You uh, better be thankful that I do. Everyone. I see nothing. The world has gone dark. Okay. There we go. Uh, and, uh, 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 who's missing? Liam is missing. And, <laughs> it's a uh, baby Liam. <laughs> baby Liam. <laughs> Wait, why is it? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna oh. resize him and just reset the the uh, the token so it's the right size next time. The lead, use the separate token. Okay, it should be fine next time. How do I see? What? How do I see? You can't see anything? I scroll down a little bit. See nope. Wait, let me see. There should be global illumination. Oh, I wonder if your your token doesn't have sight. Uh, yep, yeah, it it's did not, not have sight. And Darcy, now it should work. Thank you. Okay. Sweet. And I'm gonna go grab these two people and bring them as well to the church. And these paste. This ship is so slow. Okay, good. All right. Do you so. have a picture of that guy? I don't think we ever saw a picture of Is Ismar. 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 Uh, yeah. I should. It's not Andy. Is Mark. I should have a handout. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you actually do have it already shared. Okay. We'll look. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's. Okay, you can start thinking on what you want to do. Cause I'm just. I want to haul his body back to the back of the church. All right. Oh yeah. Let me see. Atop a slight rise against the roots of the pillar stone that supports the castle of Raven, uh, loft stands a gray sagging edifice of stone and wood. This church has obviously weathered the assaults of evil for centuries on end, and is worn and weary. A bell tower rises toward the back and flickering light shines through holes in the shingled roof. The rafters strain feebly against their load. Alright. Well, let's bring him around back. Eh? Are we bringing him inside? Yeah, is that what we're doing? Do you know where we're taking him? I'll ask um, the girl. I forget what her name is. Um, Irina. Uh, she says we should probably just uh, bring him through the door inside the church and so as you approach the doors um, you notice that the heavy wooden doors of the church are covered with claw marks and scarred by fire uh, a little reminiscent of the uh, uh, of what you saw outside of the uh, burgomaster's mansion mm -hmm. And I don't know what's happening, but my either my computer or World 20 website is extremely slow. I'm noticing that. Can I ask them if they know, like, know if the church has been of interest by the devil, like being attacked? Or, like, what causes the fire? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, they they don't know. They will say probably something. Uh. That spits fire or whatever. Actually, I don't really know what. A werewolf and a zombie, though? Spits fire? Uh, don't know, maybe spell casting. Something like that. Alright, so 
you open the door and um, the doors open to reveal a 10 foot wide 20 foot long hall uh, you can move your character by the way your tokens uh, if you want to move uh, let's see Okay. So um, the hull is unlit and reeks of mildew. Four doors, two on each side of the hull, lead to adjacent chambers. You can see that the chapel is strewn with debris and you hear a soft voice from within reciting a prayer. Suddenly the prayer is blotted out by an inhuman scream that rises up from beneath the wooden floor. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to Some leap back happy. and... Yeah. What's, what was the guy's name again? Jesus. Anything? What is this? Anything? Who's screaming? And you can hear. Oh, you're uh, you're not even in there. In screams, you can hear. I'm hungry. Oh God. Well, someone's got to feed him. I nominate the cat. And so you you keep going and you arrive. Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to just like? Well, we're all carrying this coffin. I imagine we're kind of like pallbearers, right? Like we should be in like a six by six oh. formation or a three by two by three formation, right? Okay. Yeah, with yeah, them. So like I'll get Azzy in here with them. Yeah. Yeah, drag these two, drag these two slackers. Come on, yeah, supposed yeah, to be helping us. Yeah. So then, Dylan, why don't You're you go not? up there? And they just lazy Liam. Come on. Move. They keep I going. And the chapel is a shambles, with overturned and broken pews littering the dusty floor. Dozens of candles mounted in candlesticks and candelabras light every dusty corner in a fervent attempt to rid the chapel of shadows. At the far end of the church sits a cloth card altar, um, behind which kneels a priest in soiled vestments. Next to him hangs a long, thick rope that stretches up into the bell tower. It's uh, Liam's time to shine, go clean his clothes. I was actually considering it. <laughs> uh, this place is kind of looks a little worse for wear. I'm guessing uh, you see, people don't pray here often. marks in F Father Donovich. Um, and th this priest just keeps praying and praying and praying. He does not stop. He does not... Uh, he does seem to notice really? you, but he doesn't seem to really care about you and just keeps praying. And you hear from beneath the chapel floor a young man's voice cry out, Father, I'm starving! Um, Father, it sounds like you have a little bit of a problem residing in your basement. I'm not sure if you've uh, ever considered uh, consulting the services of a group of people to rid your basement of horrors, but we have a pretty good track record. And he just stops uh, praying suddenly and turns towards you and says, No. No. It's my son. What Leave him be. You? What happened to him? He doesn't sound very happy. He's fine. He's fine. Do not pay him. Mine. He doesn't sound very fine to me. Has he been bitten? He will be fine. I am praying to the gods. Okay. They will heal him. They will cure him. They will deliver you, uh, him. Your you gods, gods aren't healing him be, well enough. They don't seem to be doing anything. I think your gods have abandoned you. Placing your blind no. trust in beings. No, the, the gods are merely testing me. They, they, they cannot abandon me. No. And what are you doing to your son? Are you testing him too? Starving him in your basement? It is the will of the gods, and the he returns to praying again and again and again. Okay, that's fine. We just gave Fabio. Thank you. 
Let's, uh... uh and he, he's just noticing now that you're holding a coffin and says, A burial. Uh, who died? Might I ask? Um, um, I'm going to turn to his son or his daughter. Yep. Uh, it's Mark answers, It is my father. He died a few days ago. Danovich says, oh, Very well. Leave the course. Um, he just turns again and continues praying to the god, to the morning lord, to the mother night, praying and praying and praying. You say leave the corpse, or I thought you guys wanted to bury it right away. Uh, Ismark and Irina seem a little confused. Um, then Ismark says, "Father." Please, we need to bury our father. Snap out of it. Uh, Donovich, Father Donovich uh, is a little bit torn because he he wants to keep praying, obviously. Um, he says, uh, let's see. Uh, Dylan, do a... Persuasion check. Okay. And if I, that doesn't work, I'm gonna do an intimidation <laughs> check at this point. Sure. Oh Jesus. And uh, he says, uh, "Yes, just uh, leave the coffin uh, and and just go. I I will, I will do it uh, uh, when the time comes. For now, I need to pray for my son's soul." And he ignores you and goes back to praying. Uh, so you try to intimidate him. Uh, the drow coming right to his face. And... He says, my son. I cannot abandon my son. And he completely ignores you. He does not seem to be scared of you or anything. He's... Um, well, you can find probably at this point sense that he has he has gone a little mad. A little He's mad. a little bit insane by probably his continual like you can even see that he's been like peeing and shitting right where he's standing, <laughs> oh, and he probably hasn't moved from this spot in a long time, and um, he's just praying and praying and praying. What if I do my dancing lights can't rip and say something like, you help us bury this guy or let us bury this guy right here and now, and I'm going to try to cure on your son. Uh, do a perception check on, uh, uh, persuasion check on this one. Uh, with advantage due to the dancing lights, just for fun. His eyes open wide and say, yes, yes, uh, very well, um, you, you heal my son and uh, you can come back at dawn and we will bury him together, very well. We bury first. <laughs> where, where can we find your son? My son is get... in the Undercroft. How do we get there? Uh, why? Uh, at the end of the... Uh, right here. Come on, roll 20. There. Uh, you will find the trap leading to the, uh, to the Undercroft. Undercroft there. Well, guys, let's go... Uh... Let's go cure ourselves this priest's son. Thank you. Thank you. And now he's like completely overwhelmed and starts crying on the floor. Just stay here, father. Maybe try to clean up a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you, you open um, this door. I want to put the 
fuck is messing with my CPU or with roll twenty? Um Are you like I'll put the cop put the body down so we can go and go down here? Yeah. So you you get to this room right here and um um so time and neglect have punched holes in the ceiling of this moldy room, which contains a few broken roof shingles amid puddles of water. In one corner, set into the floor, is a heavy wooden trapdoor held shut with a chain and padlock. A young man's screams of anguish can be heard through the door. And for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Um, before I go down, can I turn to either Ismark or I always forget her name. Irina. Irina. Yeah. And ask if they or yeah, ask them if they know anything more about the priest's son. Like, what might have if they know anything of how it happened? I don't really um, want to ask the priest. He seems kind of messed up. <laughs> I I would like us to ask them if it's fine for the burial to be in the morning, or if it's too late. Um, they will answer you that they don't really know much. Dorus was a young boy in the village. He seemed nice. Um, they'll say that about a year ago he left with other people from the village to confront Strahd, and... Um, he came back this way. They don't really have much more information than that. And they say that, yes, usually most burials happen in the morning uh, in the village. So, yeah, they expect... Can you give me a quick rundown of what I missed when you're done? We convinced oh, the priest... You're to... uh, gone? The priest was crazy. Yeah, you had to go potty. Uh, the priest was crazy. Uh, wouldn't stop talking about his son. So we... Um, Tahana convinced him that if we cure, quote unquote, his son, um, will help, or he'll help us with the burial and all that stuff. Okay. Great. All right. Um. So you now, yeah. you well, move to the undercroft. Dead. Yeah, we're in this. We're, oh shit. Where are we? Oh jeez. Oh okay. We all went down. Oh, yeah, you went there. Oh, wait, no, 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 my mistake. You haven't actually opened the trapdoor yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Okay, so where are we now? We're in the basement? No, I just... No, we're not. Okay. I just... But, like, th this is really pissing me off. I'm gonna reload the, the window, because I don't know okay. what's wrong with it. Okay, no I'll worries. I'll probably lose all my uh, open... Windows 2. Okay. Alright. This is extremely slow and it reacts to my clicks like five minutes later and stuff like that, so. Okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Seems fine to me. Okay. Hopefully it's more reactive. You still hear the audio? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I still it hear hasn't it, yeah. started yet. All right. Okay, that's fine. Um, sorry about all that. So you you oh find? Oh gosh, this is okay. So yeah, you st you find a heavy wooden trapdoor that is held shut with a chain and a padlock. Um, does it sound like the sun's like banging on it, or like is he there? Like um, right behind the door? No, you hear him screaming somewhere beneath, but it doesn't seem to be coming right from beneath the the, the trapdoor itself. Um. Okay. Well, you guys want to just go down there, or should we like try to reason with it, talk to it first, or should we just like go right in? 
Let's go in. Okay. I, take as he, as he first. I will go first. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you need to open the trapdoor first. Yeah, it's like locked. Uh, it is locked. Yeah, uh, with the iron padlock. So you might need to. Uh, Oh. To, to get Reese, do you have it. the key to the padlock? Uh, he says that he does not because he lost the key a few months ago. Oh, Jesus. Months? He's been in there for months without food. Yeah. He he's a he's fucking vampire. He wants people food. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Uh, obviously. And you would guess that probably he lost the key on purpose because. He was afraid of um, actually answering the call of his son and feeding him. Uh, so he preferred to lose the key. All right. Um, Tahanu, you get it uh, in locks? Could try luck picking it. Okay, go ahead. Dehanu. Uh, it's gonna be luck pick, dexterity. Hello. So I just rolled dexterity? No, in your character sheet, you have your uh, tools and proficiencies on the left, and you should have Thieves' tool. So click on it, then it will query what kind of thing, and then you select the card. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, shit. Oh, you roll a natural luck. one! Um, so even though you're very proficient with that, uh, you're able to break your tool inside the lock, which oh, jams it completely. Ah! Uh, step aside, I'll take care of this. Bring out the warhammer. Yep, basically, I'm gonna bring out my two-handed warhammer. Okay, so without Smash making any Stellar. rolls, you're just smashing on that for like a good 10 minutes until you completely break it open, and you're able to remove the padlock and the chain from the, the trapdoor. Um, the trapdoor, however, uh, is uh, swollen and seems to be stuck in its frame, so you, you're going to need to... Uh, uh, to do a strength check to see if you're able to pull it assist. open. Okay, with advantage. Okay, <laughs> that's good. So Lots with the advantage, you're we able. We all to, help. <laughs> you're able to Wait. pull on I it. I honestly think roll twenty is broken. Like everyone is getting single digit rolls. That's um, kind of fun. Uh, yeah, well, you had natural ones twice in a row. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I had a crowbar, I just realized. Yeah, that would have helped as well. Wow. So, you're able to just uh, get the, the trapdoor um, open by basically pulling it with all your strength, both of you, until the door actually comes off the hinges. And, uh, yeah. Okay, now I can move you to the undercraft. Um, what's the priest doing all the in, during all? The... He keeps praying, but now okay. with with tears rolling down his uh, cheek. Oh, I'm missing someone. I'm missing uh, wait, did we lose someone? I don't see iron in here. Yeah, where's iron? Oh, there's she. Trying to move. Yeah, she, you were behind Irina, that's why I didn't see you, so... Thank you! There you go. Um, okay, so you arrive in the church, church's undercroft, which is um, rough-hewn walls and a floor made of damp clay and earth. Roughing wind, wooden pillars strain under the weight of the wooden ceiling. Candlelight from the chapel above slips through the cracks, allowing you to glimpse a gout 
gaunt shape in the far corner. So you're able to see this shape, this person in the corner right here. Augmented perception check, cat and draw. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're able to easily see um, this vampire looking scared youth who looks like this screaming and being from what it restrained? looks like no he's not restrained he's oh, just shit. yeah he's just um really scared maybe really like in a sort of mad state how do you cure vampires stick through the heart yeah and burning them yeah right? there's no cure for being a vampire man and so he as you enter her you can hear him say I can smell your blood <sighs> blood uh, <laughs> we, we, we're here to help you uh, Doru we're, uh, we're not your enemy or your food. Did, did you bring me blood? Um, yes. I brought you a steak. Uh, I feel like there's a pun somewhere in that sentence. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a steak. With the uh, minor illusion. He doesn't eat okay. steak, though. He only eats blood. I'm sure it'd be enticing to him. One dripping with blood. <laughs> okay, one dripping with blood. He's like, oh, and uh, where are you, by the way? I'm not. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna guess that you yeah, drop I'll down. Yeah, yeah, I'll move up. Yeah. And he's just gonna jump right at that steak, oh, dripping with blood from uh, in your hand. And as he does, his teeth kind of go through the uh, illusion. And sinks into your hand. <laughs> oh Jesus! That's kind of a stupid I was idea. Thinking, I, was, I was thinking it'd be more like a bull. Like I would be able to like move it out of the way, and he'd like fly into a pillar or something. By the way, Ozzy, you <laughs> bought a delicious pie, didn't you? Like I had no time to react to that. He came all the way across the room. <laughs> all right. He's a fucking um, vampire. They're hell fast, man. I would have I would have threw it like away from me on the floor somewhere without him just. Don't you have a one gold? Delicious pie to give yeah, this kid. I'll offer him the pie. <laughs> he is not interested in the pie. And let, let's deal with. Uh, did he just bite your hand? <laughs> um, well, what? I mean, I feel like he didn't. I wouldn't have just stood there and let it happen. Okay, so you <laughs> just you did. threw it. Just it do do a dexterity save intro, yeah. In that case. Okay. And let me measure just how far. Far it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Considering that you are still pretty far from him, he arrived here, and you threw it. Yeah, I'm gonna like throw it to, okay. like there. Right. And so Wait. he Either then way. goes to it, and as you can see, he's kind of in a uh, fury, like mad with the hunger, and as he jumps on the blood streaked steak it his hands just go through it and he immediately realizes that it's an illusion and then he turns towards you and says you trickster and uh, with that we're gonna and you're the worst <laughs> why he's always fucking everything up <laughs> I'm not fucking anything up what do you mean by the you way, pissed off we... the vampire. I tried to give him a nice. We have no to chance to save him. Now. He just plunged at it. If he would have like talked for a second. So we have a paladin, and we well, have a he, he's the fucking hungry, and this. you show him blood. <laughs> like, as long as it was inside your veins, he was still, you know, talking to you, and then you just show him blood. What do you expect him to do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? Should and... have him like a baby or something. With so, that. I want to ask again, we have a cleric, and we have a paladin, don't they have anything to turn the undead back to normal, or 
Is that a thing that we can do? Turn on so does, like, no, they can turn the music which is still a little bit loud. Yeah. That's like super loud. Where the fuck is it? Oh. <laughs> there it is. There we go, okay. Better. Just a little uh, background music. Um, uh, so there is a turn undead, which basically means I think that they turn away from you and they try to flee. Yeah. It doesn't turn them back to being alive. It, okay. it, it makes them... And plus, like, he's not undead. Away. He's a vampire. Is vamp are vampires undead? Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. That's yeah. how I knew he was here. Oh. Yep. Oh, you could have said something. <laughs> I did! Did! Like, four times! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Azzy! I, I thought this was just going to be a nice, pleasant talk. You know, we could sit down and work things out. This guy just comes running at us and attacks full force. This is how Canadians deal with vampires. He's a month. Yeah, I was. I, I would have gave him a bottle of maple syrup. Uh huh. <laughs> well, we did smash the door, right. so. Uh... That's true. Okay, so we are in. Yeah. So you you go in combat, and so as you, as he notices that the this is an illusion, he just screams, and jumps at you uh wait where's the combat That's what... oh. oh there it is okay sorry i must have dismissed this by mistake um everyone in there one two three four five six seven hey, what does it mean that i have advantage on initiative rolls oh that means uh roll initiative twice and we'll take the higher one. Oh, okay hey. yeah that's even better Okay. okay, I'll resort. Uh, no, descend. Oh, she's the only one that can do that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't remember what you had, Tehanu. Uh, what was part of my natural explorer thing? Yeah, but what? he he has what specialization of rogue are you? Assassinate. So uh, assassin. I, I, you I have advantage it. on uh. Attacks against creatures yeah. that have not acted. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will do. Which I also have. She <laughs> also gets, but she gets advantage on initiative roll itself, which he does not. I think. Yeah. We have advantage on attacks for against what? No, just uh, him. On my first turn during combat, you have uh, advantage on attack rolls against creatures that have not yet attacked. Okay. It's part of the natural explorer trait. So. Yep. All right. So, Cloud, what do you want to do? Crossbow to the head. <laughs> Crossbow to the head. Um, so hostile. I want to talk to this revise. guy. Even, I to uh, so he's, we're in combat. You can't, like, ration with a vampire when co once we're in combat. That's not always the case, yeah. but more often than not, it Reminder yeah, that you guys down. got away from the wolves without actually fighting, despite being in. That's not being our ammo. Yeah. Typically. I mean, we can we can run, right? Well, you came you can. down voluntarily, like, yeah, but we, yes, we, you can always we, run. Yeah, we fucked up the door, so I feel like. But if. I he's just know. gonna chase us. Is he's like okay? What does he look like? Is he? Is he like ready to attack us, or is he like just afraid little boy? Because he, hang on, we, he because looks we, like we, an afraid little boy who just got mad for being tricked. Yeah, because we entered combat mode right now, but we haven't tried persuading him or gaining information on Strahd. Yeah, I want to know anything. what happened to him. Like, I, we're about to beat his ass. And we haven't like said, oh, we give you a little <laughs> drop of blood. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really want to kill him. I, no, I mean, I. You could always, but if like, we're in combat, does it doesn't that him. mean that he's ready to like attack us and kill us, or no, not necessarily? Yeah, but in in theory, if you wanted to, cut your hand open and give and let him drink that blood, and that might calm him. You can do that. Fuck I him. absolutely don't want to do that. I want to kill him. <laughs> well, you did that one. That's. All right, it worked with the plants. I have a rope. All right, Cloud, what do you want to do? You could tie him. Uh, can I use my dexterity to try to tie him up? We could, we could do that, like two of us. Tying him into dexterity and do it really quick. You can try to I also grapple have a hunting him. Trap. 
pull him? Would that be a dexterity or uh, athletics? It would be acrobatics? Athletics contested okay. by his own um, athletics. Can I can I augment? He's a weak starving thing. You must assist her. Uh, you could on your turn help her, but that would count for her next turn. Uh, well, you she could like grapple him, and then you could tie him up. Yeah, try to do something like that. Could do that. But he yeah, could always a, try with, to escape. With the ropes hold. I think we all have rope. Have yeah. hemp and rope, yep. Yeah, I think most of us have rope. Okay, because so you could tie him to a pillar um, and then interrogate him. But would the yeah, ropes I'd hold against his strength? I'd do that. Okay, well, we are taking more than like six seconds. So. But then we're throwing I... away our, our, our amazing ability to insta-kill. <laughs> but... But then we gain the ability to interrogate the guy. Well, I don't know that he knows a lot. Well, I don't think he is going to know to a lot. He went to the castle, he... A year ago, and being chained in this basement for a year, being starving, and practically insane, I don't think he remembers. Yeah, I don't think this is like a reliable source of information. This is a very reliable source of experience. Well, it's just as good as Fox. Experience, wow. Well, even when we tie him up, it'll be even that much easier to kill him. Has he been bitten? He looks very vampire-like to me. Just yeah. The vampire-like yeah, things. I am with Liam. Yeah, I say we slay this foul beast. I think he's at the point where he will say anything to get any kind of so do we spill his? Uh, that is my vote. I'm, I'm fine agree. with that, even though we... Oh well, we we, we kill a witness, well, but oh well. So, okay, so I kind of forgot about something here. So my favorite enemy is undead. So I, while you guys are all, you know, doing whatever, I'm going to get this gleam in my eye and just blast him with my cross. <laughs> Meow. Uh, you have advantage on that since he hasn't uh, had a turn yet. Uh, unfortunately, um, both, uh, uh, well, not both arrows, but like both attempts. No, it's a single attempt just with advantage. Anyway, uh, you fail <laughs> to hit him with the. 11, uh, right? Yeah, it's 11, uh, which doesn't actually hit him. He's able to avoid that, and as he sees you attacking, like he's even madder than he, he was earlier. Good. What do you want to do then? I'm going to get in front of me so he attacks uh, you instead of me. Fuck no. I'm backing out a little bit here. Well, is this, hey, is this a stairway? Yeah. Do I still have line of sight from back here, or no? From where? From like here-ish? Can I line of sight him yeah, yeah, from you, back you here? Yeah, you still have a line Okay, I just, I just backed up to the top of the stairs, so I have like height and I can see everything. Okay. okay. Um, next would be Liam. What do you want to do? Let's see here. Surroundings are made largely of wood. What? Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> I could. I, I would really rather not burn a church yeah, down. Yeah, I think this entire church would go up in flames. But if that's what you decide to do, uh, I mean, I'm kind of fire resistant. Um, I'm gonna like take a hop over the side of the stairs and run over here and shoot a fire fireball yeah okay go ahead uh with roll 20 uh you would click on the uh spell from your spell list to cast it what that's that's uh, no so you gotta it should be under your attacks on your main on the core page and right. not, my, not all mine are should be there yeah, that's weird yeah, Darcy, it did the same thing for you earlier. Oh, what happened? I don't know what's wrong with that. There okay. you go. So, uh, Firebolt is... Uh, whoops. It, is it an attack or...? It's an attack. Yeah, range attack. Okay, so it's 
uh, you throw a firebolt at him and he's able to avoid the hit by ducking just beneath the the firebolt and now he's like looking at whether he's going to go right at you or uh, at Cloud who also tried to hit him. Uh, do you want to move or you're done? Um... Liam? I'm thinking. Uh, okay. Let's move back. Okay. Um, Azzy, it's your turn. How far away is he from me? Uh, about 15, 10, 15 feet. Alright, I'm going to move into range. Okay. And use... What is that? Vow of Enmity. As a bonus action, you utter a Vow of Enmity against a creature you see within 10 feet of you. Using your channel divinity, you gain an advantage on attack rolls against a creature for one minute or until it drops nice. uh, to zero. Kill, kill, kill. Okay. All right, that's your bonus action. What do you want to do as your action? Warhammer with advantage. So you... Uh, you take your warhammer and you hit him. He's trying to avoid it, but he's not able to. Um, he's not fast enough to avoid the hit and gets the warhammer right in his shoulder, taking ten points of damage. All right, he's screaming. He's not happy about that. Now he's looking right at you, and I think he wants to get his vengeance right at you. Uh, Tehanu, uh, I assume Azzy doesn't want to move. Okay. Tehanu, your turn. Such violence, I like this. Time to assassinate. You still have uh, advantage? Double advantage and sneak attack and... Do I have critical? Uh, you just have advantage. You have roll critical. Wait, do you have uh, any hit you score than that? Uh, he's not surprised. I do have sneak attack as well. Yeah, if, if, if the creature is surprised, it's yeah. an automatic crit. This is yeah. not surprised. Yeah, he's not surprised. Right, but I do have sneak attack on it. Uh, yes, you have sneak attack and you have advantage because he hasn't had a turn yet. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Shoot a crossbow bolt and then I'm going to hide behind one of the pillars or something. With my as my second action. Um, okay, go ahead. So hang on. To do the sneak attack with the crossbow bolt, I hit the sneak attack and then the crossbow, or the other way around, or uh, does not matter. Uh, no, the sneak attack would be. It's a checkbox, so it's enabled. So you just click on the crossbow bolt. On the crossbow. Oh wait, hang on. I have a silver short sword. You do. Cool. That should give a nice double advantage against this guy. You only get one advantage. You can They don't stack up, by the way. No, no, also, uh, it's weird, it's, weird it doesn't give you advantage. It's just, yeah. But it should hit harder on the undead. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, which reminds me, by the way, uh, Azzy, the hit that you gave him, it... It wasn't as uh, damaging as you expected it to be. So yeah, you do have a silver short sword. So if I were to use it, is the calculation different or like... No. No, it's just... Uh, if it makes a difference, I'll take that into account. Hmm. Well, I guess it's worth a try. Uh, I just want to use one of my portent dice here, by the way. I want to give okay. him the higher one. You want to give him? Okay. Yes. All right. Um, cool. So he does not get to roll with advantage. 
Uh, I believe that just gives him the the higher one as as a dice roll, yeah. plus his. Uh, which was how how much was it? I believe that one was a baseline seventeen. Okay, so Tehanu uh, with Liam's uh, power of divination, he's able to help you, and you're able to get uh, an attack um, into Doru. You sneak up on him and you hit him for. Um, Seven and five piercing. Wait, sneak attack. You're not. It's. Uh, oh yes, yeah, sneak attack is two d six. Okay. Um, yeah. So you do uh, thirteen, uh, twelve points of damage as the silver sword, short sword passes um, through his shoulder, and you can see faint smoke coming out of the wound that you hit him on. Oh, does he like reel from it? Uh, yeah, he's not liking it. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. I think it already did. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dehanu, what's next? So I hide behind one of the pillars. If I, if it can be like a little bit further away, I guess it works. Okay. If you don't disengage, he'll attack you. Yeah, you want to disengage first, or? Well, I can do it both. Nope. Oh, right, because he's the next one. So, like, he would automatically attack the... the well, you're leaving his range, attack. so he'd get an attack on you. Yeah. So you'd have to disengage... What did you use action. your bonus action for? You didn't use it yet. Oh, okay. oh, so you mean I can disengage and then hide instead of moving and hiding? You can't, you can't do disengage and hide both in the same turn unless you use your full action. Okay, yeah, I thought that didn't make any sense. I um, guess I'm going to disengage... But and then normally would have just hidden because normally I think he would still have a trouble hitting me if I'm hidden. Just come you, back here. You don't necessarily need to hide to get sneak attack off. Just as long as there's somebody else, one of your friends within five. Yeah. Uh, he knows that, but I, I think he wants the hidden because of the advantage he gets. And I thought it was better for defense. This, yeah, and disadvantage if he tries to attack him. All right, let's get moving. What do you want to do? Hmm. Guess I'm gonna disengage. Okay, then disengage and move. And next will be Doru. So move so Doru knows what he's gonna do. Depending on that. Um. So Doru is pretty pissed, and he's going to attack Azzy with one claw attack. Oh, myself here. Claw. He's grown claws. Yeah, he has claws, and he's going to attack Azzy. Uh, it's an 11, which misses. And then he's going to try a second claw attack on Azzy, and it's a 19, which I believe does hit. Uh, right, Azzy? I'm AC 19. Yeah. So it does hit, and... Does that AC 19 include my shield? Yes. Should. Yep, okay. it does. Um, so he hits you with one claw, which fails. It just scrapes on your shield, and then he hits with his other uh, claw that deals 10 points of slashing damage to you as he's able to hit you just beneath your armor. And 10 points? Yeah. And with that, he's going to... He's going to remain where he is, but just scream because he is mad at you for what you just did. <laughs> and next is Amnon. <laughs> I love that. Amnon, what do you want to uh, do? I'm going to um, cast a spell. I'm going to cast Old Person. OK. Old Person. Go ahead. Oh, you kind of cut out a little bit there. Yeah, a hold person. 
Okay. So, so uh, you're on a concentration. Let's see, concentration spell. So we're gonna give you something like this. To say you're concentrating. Um, he's gonna try to avoid it with a wisdom save intro. He gets a 15. What's your save DC? God damn it. 13. Okay. So um, he's he's able to uh, avoid the uh, why is these the whole person. vampires so wise? Uh, oh, yeah. He saw he saw you I trying tried. to do the hold person and he's he avoided it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run away. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chillin'. Iren, what do you want to do? I want to uh, cast a uh, sanctuary on Ozzy. Okay. But I don't know how to do that because it's not on my spell list. Uh, I believe it just happens. Wait, sanctuary. It's. It's in your spell list, yeah. I can't remember if it's an action or a bonus action. Uh, it's a bonus action. It's a bonus action. action, oh. Yeah, yeah it's a bonus action. I think it's action. a regular action. Oh, so I can do two? Yeah, you can do I it as a bonus action. You can, I don't believe you can cast another spell unless you cast a cantrip as yes. an action. That's what I was thinking of doing as a cantrip. Uh, no, it's not a cantrip. It's a level one. No, no, no. It's my, oh. So I, I want to cast that, and the other thing I'll do is a cantrip. Okay, sure. So, cool. uh, you ward Ozzy. Uh, so, any creature who targets Ozzy with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom save intro. Um, cool. Okay. Very nice. And, and now I want to do Secret Flame. And and note, a... note if Ozzy attacks the creature, the warden stops. So, it will only last until Ozzy targets the the creature. Oh. Yeah. But well, what fine. if he runs away? What if he runs away? He's got like no health. Can he just like disengage and run yeah, away? Yeah, yeah, he can do that. It, it was just like an FYI. Like, okay. Here's the information. He can read it. So, yeah. No, I'm reading it. Okay. So, uh, that was your bonus action. What do you want to do? The Sacred Flame. Secret flame. Okay. Uh, click on it. Uh, just do it. Okay, so the sacred flame, I believe, is a dexterity. Let me see. Uh, yeah, dexterity save intro from Doro. <laughs> He's pretty fail, good. Fail, fail. It was a 17. What? Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, so Dexterity saving throw, Tier 1d8, Radiant Damage, Dark gains no benefits. Uh, so, yeah, it's no half damage, it's just he didn't get uh, okay. hit at all. Sorry. Alright, so now we're back at Cloud, and as just before Cloud's turn, uh, you hear that the chanting, uh, reciting of prayers from upstairs stopped. And you're hearing some steps coming uh, from upstairs. Cloud, your turn. Uh, so my absolute hatred of undead is very plain on my face. And I am going to again shoot my heavy crossbow uh, right at him. Okay. Go ahead. Ooh, that's nice. So you you shoot, and you're able to hit him uh, right on in the gut. And uh, up to click for damage or anything? Yeah, you need to click on the heavy crossbow to get the uh, yeah. okay there you go. The, uh, damage. He is your favorite and favored enemy, so you do get uh, plus two to damage. Sweet. Which you did not modify your uh, favorite enemy feat to to add the new text, but yeah. So he gets eleven. Yeah, it's like a. Do I have to do the global modifier thing or? Um. Or should no, I just no, put no. it in the chat bubble and we can just remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, here, uh, right under my favorite enemies. On. 
for, for now we'll just remember it. So he gets 11 points of piercing damage, but you can see that he's not... Um, he's resisting to that damage. Uh, but also, you are noticing that um, when it was his turn, some of the wounds that were inflicted on him by Azzy and uh, whoever else had hit him had already started to heal. Oh. Even He's the sword magic. puncture? So, can I do some sort of like check to see if I know anything about vampires, or can I not do that on this turn? Um... I feel like if they're on my favorite enemy, I should know that they yeah, would heal, you would, and I would have told. Know that... I would have told them that. Yeah, you well, would I know. Have you would know that they would heal on every turn. I have a great idea. <laughs> they share the priest to the vampire, and then he won't be hungry. Anymore. All right, uh, Liam's turn. Ow. Oh. Okay. Uh, and like to, um, hmm. I'd like to use my other portent dice with a firebolt. Okay. Go ahead. And my spell attack bonus is a five, so that makes it a 16. Okay. Does that hit? Uh, yes, it does. So, All right. for, um, for damage, I think, with Fireball, yeah. Azzy, I have an idea. If you can just hold the guy on your next I turn, didn't. so that I can do some special move on this guy, it might work. Three! <laughs> yep. So, you're doing three damage, and let me just check this. With that does not... <laughs> I thought you were a master of the mass mystical arts. What is this? Throwing sparks at the guy? Yeah. Um, yeah, he, you're, you you hit him and he's... Um, uh, he, he's not happy about it, but it doesn't seem to have done that much damage. Uh, Ozzy, your turn. Does that work? Can I, like, out of character real quick? Can uh -huh. I, can I, like try to pin him or something or, or yeah or, you can attempt like, to get him try to grapple. I... Does that keep his shield? It should. It's not attack. Uh, it a grapple is an attack. It's a type Does of it? attack. Shoving huh. and grappling right. counts as an attack. Yeah. This I did so, not know. Grab oh, him goodness. from behind and expose his heart to me. Eh. All right. How do I do a grapple check? Uh, let me check the player's handbook. I believe you make an athletic. Dude, you're really low on health. I feel like you should get out of there. What's your health? Eight. Yeah, he can kill you with one hit. Why don't you just touch yourself, Ozzy, and heal yourself? Mm -hmm. oh, All right, well, me. I feel like you should <laughs> do that, and then you. Can, should is that is that a bonus action or is that a regular? What lay on hands? I believe it's an action. Yeah, it's an action lay on hands. So I'm gonna. I guess I'll lay myself. Uh, you actually <laughs> don't have it because you have not had your long rest like the others. I know I have five oh. points because I leveled up. Oh yeah, you have five points. So yeah, you can do that. So you wanna uh, touch your yourself? Hand through his breastplate. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! You guys. <laughs> J just to make himself feel better. I mean. What? I'm back in it what? Slightly. I feel like I and I are just cringing so bad. <laughs> We're talking the That's character, good. right? Ozzy, the character, not the person. You ah. lay on hands to get some <laughs> HP back. Give me that HP. Okay. Alright, so that's what you did. You wanna... Um, move or stay where you are nope. actually okay so the i mean i have a shield on me i don't want he can't attack me so uh yeah, well, yeah he, he tried didn't move. He didn't move. i didn't move and i didn't take any actions against him so yeah uh he probably can't do an attack uh, an opportunity attack against you either i'm guessing 
Uh, yeah, but, uh, so yeah, but if I stay away. in the way, yeah. he doesn't know that the shield is going to do anything. So he can yeah, try to attack point. and fail, okay. and then realize, shoot, I have to go attack somebody else. Okay, good. Uh, Tehanu, your turn. All right, so as, as he's playing the bait, I'm going to go up to the guy, to this uh, little child, and then I'm going to stab him with the silver sword short in the heart specifically. Okay. Uh, do a uh, attack. Whoa. Nicely done. Wow. Uh... You rolled a 15. Okay. Um, so you definitely are able to slip your short sword through his heart. And you do uh, quite a bit of damage to him. And he screams again. And you can see faint smoke trailing from the wound as you take out your weapon from, uh, from his chest. Uh, next, bonus action movement. Hmm. Um, guess I'm gonna disengage because this turn is next, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. And uh, hmm. Um, well, since Azzy has the shield, I guess I'm gonna stay nearby. But I, I mean, I could tank a little bit. Okay. So, disengage and move. Then it's Doru's turn. And he is. He sees Ozzy uh, pretty beat up. And so he's going to want to to hit him. Uh, he can still do that, right? Uh, so he's going to do right? a wisdom tree. Uh, yeah, he's going to have to do a wisdom save intro. And. He got a 13. What was yours? Your save? Your well, it was 13. So he thought it was a 13. Yeah, he is able to attack Ozzy with that. Oh no! And uh, he's going to. Hey, 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 wait. What if what if he gets disadvantage because he just got a sword through the heart? Nope. He doesn't get disadvantage <laughs> from that. So he's gonna try. Like it was should. a really good blow. One, one claw hit. Um, which Rip fails, again. and then he's going to try and bite Ozzy, jumping on him. I want to say that's every time they make an attack, they get to do the thing, but I'm not. I could be wrong. But wait, do what thing? They have to make the uh, uh you, sanctuary setting. Uh, good question. Oh. Uh, I would say. I would consider it. Yeah, he makes two attacks. Okay, so he would do. But if he wisdom. breaks it on the first one, doesn't he break it? Uh, no, he doesn't break it. No, oh, okay. not as far as I understand it. He just figures out a way through. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand what her spell actually does. Like, if it's like a like a bubble that you can break, or if it's like a a different thing. No, he's just able to. Okay. Uh, so his second attack fails. So he Yay! is forced to uh, <laughs> attack someone else, and oh, since wait, he was trying to do a bite, me, the first did. Is he got a thirteen? The first he had uh, thirteen on his wisdom uh, saving throw. Right, right, right. But then he he rolled an eighteen. My AC is nineteen. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't hit. He was oh, just able to hit. target you. No, he was able oh, to target okay, you, okay, okay. but it didn't hit. Uh, the second one, he was able, he was not able to target you, uh, but he's not able to find anyone in his vicinity to attack with the bite. So I'm gonna judge that he's not able to do that bite attack. All right, and he yells, "Father!" And oh, moving no. on to Amnon. Um, do I still hear the f footsteps coming towards the cellar? Uh, yeah, right. they're getting closer. And by the way, uh, while it was his turn, you can see him healing 
already like the the, the chest wound from Tehanu's sword has already healed. Isn't the oh, whole geez. point of silver that the guy like he cannot heal from it? Um, not yeah. really. No. Then what's the point? I like. Is he not a vampire? Does it make the, it more difference in damage? The I didn't point see. is that he has resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks. Which means that if you do ten points of damage, it's actually five points of damage because he's resistant to it. But with the silver, uh, silver short, short, short sword, god damn it, um, uh, it counts as a magical weapon. So he gets the full ten points instead of uh, oh, divided okay. by two. Um, okay, I am going to uh, blast him with my eldritch. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, that's not right. What? Yeah. Works. So you you blast the damage your... of my charisma modifier on it. That's just showing four. That should be seven. Yeah, I see it. Uh, what's your charisma? Plus four? Three. Plus three. Okay. So you. And then your plus two proficiency doesn't seem to be. It says plus two instead of plus three. Uh, plus three, plus two. Thirteen plus three. Yeah, no, the the attack is correct. It's just the oh, damage okay. that's wrong. Okay. What time of the day is it, by the way? Is it night time or is it? It's starting to get almost night, or pretty much. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I it, forgot that there's no sunlight. It was sunset in this not too long ago. Um, so you you do the Eldritch Blast and you 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 send that tr towards Doru and he takes it uh, right in the chest. Um, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's not liking that again. Uh, Iron, your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to healing word awesome. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, oh, is it level one? Uh, it's 1d4 at level one and 2d4 at asked, level Right, it asked me what casts, uh, cast at what level. So I cast level one or three? or. Uh, it's your choice. No, uh, you can... You have spell slots of uh, level 1 and 2, so you can either cast it as level 1 or level 2. If you cast it as level uh, 1, it's 1d4. If you cast it as level 2, is uh, 2d4. By the way, don't some of you have some Radiant-type spells that would emulate sunlight to attack him? I have a question. So you, Why you... would she ever cast a lower version? Sorry. Uh... Because she, she has, yeah, uh, she has three spell slots remaining of level one, and only one slot remaining of level two. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry, I don't know much about Think spells. of it like mana. Yeah. Uh, okay, so she, she cast it as level two, two, and that gives her. Wait, that's weird. Uh, let me just. Uh. Oh yeah, you, you just get one extra D4. Okay, so you heal him of 9 HP. Ozzy, you get plus 9. And Iron, you want to move or remain where you are? Or I remain where I'm at. Okay. And before Cloud's turn arrives, you see Donovich coming down towards the trap and and coming down the stairs, like pushing you, my son, my son, no! And he's just jumping uh, towards the fray. Uh, <laughs> Rip that restrain guy. Restrain him, restrain him, or something is gonna. Huh, let him go get eaten. Uh, and we can kill him I'm while he's trying to kill that dude. He's just uh, gonna push his way all the way to the bottom of the stairs. And Cloud, your turn. Well, he seems to be kind of resistant to my weapon damage, eh? Yep. And he has 10 HP regeneration every turn. Yeah, so what the hell are we supposed to do here, you guys? Not miss and kill him in one turn. Do any of you have holy water or anything like that? Oh, I have holy water. God damn it! Use it! 
I guess I will just cast a cure or er, go to Azzy and I will um, do my cure wounds on him. Well, how much health did he gain? I, I'm at 21 of 24. I'm okay. okay. Right. Oh, you are? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I didn't update. It's just now showing me. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do then. Like, all I can do is hit him and it's not really doing much. I don't have, have any, like, spell things. <laughs> so I don't know you I don't know what you guys want me to do. A suggestion I mean, I was Hunter's made in chat. Mark. Yeah, but yep. I guess I don't know if it's Hunter's gonna help. Mark. Okay, so you wanna cast Hunter's Mark? Yeah, um, but I don't even remember what it does, so <laughs> Uh, let's see. You choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. And you have advantage on any perception or survival checks you, may, you make to find it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's a bonus action. So use your bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on Doru. Okay. Um... So do I get to do anything else or no? Yeah, you still have your action. Your slots remaining, you have two now. Whoops. Um, oh, you have oh, two sorry. slots remaining. Um, yeah, you still have your action. Okay, so I guess I'll hit him then. Go ahead. Uh, that's a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. Uh, so you, you throw your crossbow towards Doru, who's able to avoid it, and uh, that's the end of it. Liam, your turn. I changed my oh, spell yes. slots remaining to two, right? Yes. By the way, DM. By the way, you guys, I have to go to bed. So should I just dip out now? What? I wanted to leave like a half an hour ago. Okay. Um, so should we? I just, I mean, you guys can finish up if you want, but it's mm -hmm. late and I'm sick. Mm -hmm. I could wait for a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean, we can. Okay, we can take a break. I, uh, until next week, basically. Uh, let's see. Next week's BlizzCon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask, are you all okay with doing next week on Wednesday after BlizzCon? Or would you prefer to skip next week and just do it in two weeks? I'd be fine with doing a weekend one if that's possible. Uh, uh, weekend, you would still be in BlizzCon. In the weekend, like after, it's just because I'm. We'll be getting back, like I get back late, late Monday night, and then yeah. we have raid on Tuesday, and then, like Wednesday, I need to like go get food and cook for the week and stuff like that. Okay. So I just don't know if I'd be able to really make it on Wednesday. But okay. I could do Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Or... I I can't do Saturday or Sunday. It's the only weekend I have to pack to move yeah um wednesday and friday work for me uh sunday also works for me and then we do stuff on mondays okay well i mean if if monday doing... everybody else wants to and is free i'm happy to do wednesday that. you mean it's wednesday y yeah what did i say monday oh uh, mm. yeah sorry I, if everybody wants to do wednesday like i can make it work i just it wasn't my top choice Wednesday works best for me, but right. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. I'll just order food in on Wednesday, and then and then I don't know, figure something out. Okay. Um. Well, if everyone is okay with Wednesday, we can do it Wednesday. If yeah, you that's... would prefer not to, uh, then we can just skip that week. I mean, I don't really see the point of uh, leaving it until the weekend because we would have. Uh, this the next session on Monday anyway, so like doing it set Sunday or Saturday, and then two days later or the following day we do the next session doesn't make that much sense. So I think uh, it's also a little harder on you. Um, yeah. 
So uh, I'll I'll send a uh, quick uh, question on Discord where I would like maybe uh, think about it and just answer me with a uh, reaction to the message. And if everyone is okay with Wednesday, we can just do it Wednesday. Otherwise, uh, I'll just say we skip this week and uh, we'll. Uh, We'll already have enough enjoyment from BlizzCon, so we can just skip that and do it the, the week after. All right. All right. Great cool. job, everyone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. we'll right. Just remember, it's it's my turn in the comp. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, it, it saves. It saves everything. So. Okay. Yeah. Hey, okay. I'm gonna go to bed. All right. We good almost night. Right, nice. Nice. Well, good, good night, job, Vanessa. Guys. Hope you feel better. Thanks. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm gonna try to get some rest. And lots no of sick for BlizzCon. I I will.